Oh, you stop, you stop clapping. All right, people, so we're back tonight with another movie that we seen. You know, we've been on Netflix a little bit and there was a new documentary that we checked out called The Mind of Aaron Hernandez. Now, we gonna base this movie off of the puzzling oh, thing. Oh, Killer Inside. We gotta put that in there. Killer Inside, The Mind of Aaron Hernandez. We gonna base this um, review, spoiler, subject about, let's just argue why in the hell did he kill Odin Lloyd? Like that was the center part about this whole documentary. This was the, the fall of his life of killing this man. But in this movie, they documentary never talked about it. So they called it the mind of Aaron Hernandez, but we never even got in his mind. Like, what do you think? So really quick though, the movie, it came out January 15th. Uh, 2020 on Netflix. On Netflix, it was a true crime documentary. Uh, director was Gino McDermott, um, and they had his family was basically the, the stars, and then a few close, very close friends um, were the the stars. It was three episodes. Only needed one season, and that's that's what we got. Three. Well, one episode. Well, yeah, three one, episodes. Three, three episodes, one season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about that. It was yeah. So. So let's dive into the meat and potatoes of, of his life. So he went to um, Florida State, played football. He was a tight end. He was a very athletic, great tight end, uh, two-parent household, uh, trouble passed for no reason. His father was very hard on him, very strict. And he it seems- drunk, Yeah, yeah, he was. He beat the mom a lot. So he came from a two-parent household, but not the- But it was a trouble. Right, yeah. right, right. He would have been better off as a woman. In the documentary, they, they basically centered it around like kind of like his life change after his father passed. His father's the one that pushed him and his brother to play football, to pursue it. So he was a Connecticut kid. He went to Connecticut school. He was all, you know, all high school, all American. Everyone thought he was going to go to college in Connecticut. He flipped the script, went down to Florida, which you would think in a sense it would have been better off for him to get away from where he's from, where he's troubled from, something different. Well, it really just made the situation even worse for him because now, like one of the friends, one of the guys said in the documentary, he started getting tattoos, smoking weed, hanging out with other people. Well, he went because he got that scholarship. Mm -hmm. Right, but he's gonna get one in Connecticut too. Mm -hmm. Like he flipped the script on everybody. Everybody thought he was gonna stay in Connecticut, go to a school in Connecticut and play ball there. This is even the same school that Tim Tebow, the all preacher, pastor, all, Tim Tebow went to the same school. So you would think with Tim Tebow being there, it would have helped him with what he was going through, but obviously it didn't. And the New England Patriots drafted him in 2010, third, fourth round. He was projected to be a first round pick, but the problem was this fool killed somebody before he got drafted. Went to the club, and what did he do? <laughs> and that's the crazy part about it. So he went to the club, right? A guy bumped him, wasted his drink on him. And this in the club, the no, 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 that was that was his friend. That was the, uh, that was the second person. So bumped the guy, and he didn't trip off into the club, drinking, getting drunk, or whatever. Got outside the club in his car, seen this guy, and just started boop, 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 shot in the car, killed the guy. Either we missed some parts in this documentary, but I don't even understand how they found the truck in his aunt garage, but didn't convict him of the murder or anything. But she served some time because she wouldn't snitch on, I guess, who the truck belonged to or whatever the case may be. That was puzzling just within that whole situation. Yeah, I think we missed something with that. I think they went over that because they wouldn't have been able to associate her. That, that car, I mean, they were looking for it in um You said they found state. it, didn't you? Yeah, and then Boston was looking, Massachusetts was looking for the uh And it was here Boston for a whole police. year. Yeah, so they were looking for it also. Um, but, cause it's like once he crossed over, you know, it was right. done. 
But needless to say, New England Patriots. They didn't write it. Though. They didn't really write it. Like they unless we that. must have just missed some I stuff. Attention but thoroughly. I, you, yeah. Comment. What you think? Did we miss something in that that mix? You know, what do you think happened they, they in that mix? Back and forth. Maybe several we times. missed something. But comment below on what if we missed something or whatever you seen in that whole yeah. scenario. Uh, but the fast forward, the New England Patriots drafted him, and. Um, they claim they didn't know about the situation, but they knew. They knew about the situation. But they the fast forward. Him alive. Yeah, they just, they they just like, they did. It, this couldn't have been right now. In well, that's because he he was he was good, but and but I guess he. People are now. They just yeah. seem like they. You just you trash. Get out, get out of there. Yeah. But let's get to the meat and potatoes. Why did he kill Odin Lloyd? Um. This, Me is, this is the person who he was actually uh, convicted for. Right. He was found guilty in the murder of Odin Lloyd. Um, his uh, uh, girlfriend or fiance at the time, um, her blood sister, mom, same mom and everything, was his girlfriend. Was Odin Lloyd's girlfriend. Yeah. So they became very cool from them. You know, family, right. family. They became cool. They smoked weed together every day in the basement and at first it was forced and then they actually they, they became close so it was, right. you know everybody's there every day that's what they that's what they did so this is what we debated because the high school quarterback claimed they had some type of homophobic type of relationship they fondled with each other whatever the case well may what be. he what he said his his childhood best friend well they were still close up until i'm sure the conviction they mm -hmm. they still hung out um he said that when they were young you know i guess even you know even for us when we hung out after school or maybe not you <laughs> uh, we hung out with the same sex you know like we the girls hang out with the girls the guys hang out with the guys after school that's what you know right they, that's what they did and they seen um gay men as a uh, homo. That was the, the word. It was for, weak. For, for, for the channel, we'll call it that. Um, they seen it as something else, you know, soft and, you know, flamboyant type right. is what they call that. But for them, they experimented, he said, like every day at home. Like, this is what they did. But they were football players. Like, this right. can't be that. You know, download. Well, this was in 2000 something. So, download was download already was out. In. It right. was already out. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. like, it was back, you know, nah. the school and called download yet. But you know how you kind of program things in your mind of thinking one way, and that's what happened. But this guy actually uh, came forth and spoke on um, their relationship. He right. said that that was what they did. And they, like, and he looked back. You know, after he finally came out, he wasn't in the NFL, but he looked back and said, we were in a relationship and didn't even, didn't even know. Mm. But uh, to get into how that relates, um, when you look at the, the situation, when they, in the courtroom, it was a witness. When him and Odin Lloyd uh, went out to the club, um, the witness is on the stand and they showing a recording on the, the screen mm -hmm. um, of in the guy that's in the courtroom is explaining what's going on. on this the is in episode three. Yeah, right. you can see it uh, very clear. Um, Aaron Hernandez is up against a wall and a young lady is like twerking on him and he stopped and he like abruptly like moved off of her and he stood there looking we can't see who he's looking at but the guy's telling us he's like burning a hole in Odin Lloyd's face like he just standing there like not moving like his girlfriend is across the room with another man and so he left quickly out and Odin Lloyd you know kind of like followed him you know real quick like you know what's going on why is you looking like that and they ended up leaving. I don't know if he even left in the same car. I don't even think I don't so. Think they he left was in the together. car because he sent the text to him. And I want to say it was like the next day asking, like, are we still on for today? Like, are we still on? No, are we still on? Is what he said. And I guess he responded, yeah. And then they end up picking him up. 
and took him afar wherever they went and he got out and he shot him several times. See this, but but I don't think that was right out of it because this is only no, my like thing. The next day. Unless I missed that part, I thought it was like a, a little while mm -mm. after that. Only because, see, one of two things. Either they had to be into it before that happened, and that's the reason why he looked at him like that. Like, no. I've been looking for you. There he is. They wasn't into it. Or, the puzzling thing is, you guys answer this question. Do you think they were lovers? Like they had some type of like they... thing going on. And you gotta remember, he the dude Odin is his girlfriend fiance's sister boyfriend. So they kinda tied in together. Do you think he maybe knew something about Aaron that he didn't want everybody to know? Like, why did he kill this man? No, he and I'm and just for me looking without knowing too much of anything. If you look at that, if you look at that scene alone, and if you ever watch Lifetime or any type of crimes of passion type of uh, shows, it all came together. I didn't need to hear. I didn't need to hear or see anything else about this because it was very obvious. It was like a jealous woman, like mm. the, the the movement in there. I mean, you could just tell even the way. Odin, Odin uh, ran out after him. It was so strange. Like, what you mad for? You know, it was just so. It was it was deep that that little moment right there, and it it literally. I mean, they could not like they stated. Um, they could not bring any of that information about him the being courts. gay into the court, or they would have exposed. Mm everybody he wasn't right. there to defend you know right. so they couldn't just bring that little piece in and say well maybe they without bringing everything right. and everybody else in and it was def definitely have been like a defamation of his character right know? and i even think like even in a documentary out of respect for odin lois family mm -hmm. even if it was like and there or something for the girl too they remember? they wouldn't bring that in there mm -hmm. but i even googled like why did he kill this man? And you cannot find it anywhere. Like, what was the motive? Like, what did this man do and that's for because, he be so sloppy to kill him? And that's because they never were able to connect the dots. They never, they never had the opportunity to bring in the meat. They had to leave it out. So all, the only thing they had to go off of was evidence. That he did kill him. That's it. They right. they verified, pinged him to the location, or you know whatever they did to do. And that. then this is how sloppy he was. He was horrible. one he was a horrible killer. He killed him not too far from his own, where other rich people live at. Two, um, he threw the weed that they were smoking down where he killed him at. Three, the shells. Even if you knew you was gonna kill somebody. Turn off your security cameras, like the security cameras okay, on at his house. This is the one where he said uh, the guys he was with them. He just happened to be right. with them, and the, right? And and the guys that he's saying killed them is in his house, right? With his kid on the couch now, the next day. But this is the killer part about it, though. Uh, point in um, the dude Odin had text. Was this his girlfriend or his sister? He texted somebody while he was in the car with them saying do you know who i'm with and she was like no he said nfl but he didn't say a name so there was some underlining things going on that they could they wouldn't say like it was more to this whole ordeal that no one knows about but four people odin aaron and the other two guys mm -hmm. that was with him that killed him and like i wonder why they never called them well they in prison right now yeah, they still probably in prison. When I looked it up, I think they got like five, seven years. They didn't get a whole lot of time. It was like accessory to murder, but he got the murder rap for everything. Um, other than that, I mean, what what do you guys think? I mean, did we miss something? Is this something and that we you found? Only, and, and, you know, if you did watch it, we are only, you know, focusing this on this particular part because he did not get convicted for the mm -hmm. other two guys that because he had a great lawyer uh right. obviously that's the only reason he didn't uh which he should have uh 
But this is, you know, what we chose to center this around. And because I, this was his downfall. He, yeah, he killed him. He got convicted for. Sent him to prison. He hung himself so his daughter and fiance could get the money. This was the downfall, but we never really known why did he even kill this guy? Like, what was the point? We knew why he killed the first guy and he got away with because he spilled drink on him. We knew why he shot the guy in the head and got away with that one. Like, the dude was a stone cold, cold killer. Like, you got to have something embedded in you to want to kill someone and not to even think twice about it and to do it again. And then the, the guy, he goes and gets this tattoo like, God forgive, you know, God forgives all with the gun on one side, the bullets, the same bullets on the other side of the smoke. I mean, it was just they had the they had the tattoo artist in there uh, yeah. testifying. But uh, yeah, it was it was crazy. I definitely like uh Stephen A. You know, they did a little part on him. Or, and what's the other guy? Oh. Uh. Oh, you talking about uh, Shannon Sharp? Yeah, like they they both said, which I totally agree. I don't, you know, feel any type of remorse no, for him what? at all. You know, even though they tried to come in at the end and say he had a uh, CTE, right? Yeah. He thought out enough. He was very he he was hot headed, but he he had enough sense to do yeah. it. And he knew what he was doing. So blaming that they said that you know that kind of messed with your brain, with nah. your brain and. And the planning. His planning was a little sloppy, so it was a little bit of that in there. But you were that mad as, to kill people? Right. It was he had a battle within himself on top of his dad. He was very broken and damaged. Um, but on top of the dad, him battling being down low, all of these things is what made him angry, you know. But to say that I feel sorry, I feel sorry for the other families, but for yeah, him, I'm so sorry no, for him. he he yeah. He deserved what he got, and when that last reporter, um, you know, put him out, like, you know, we weren't supposed to be able, they were not able to talk about him being down low in the court, but she came out and did her own thing, mm. which is why I feel he ended up killing himself. Like, he didn't want that out, and it, it really got out of her. Well, I think he killed himself because of that, and he knew he's about to spend the rest of his life in, in prison, and he can provide for his child. And he knew the loophole but, with but, the case being that, still open, they can get that money. Yeah, but no, he. You remember the attorney? The attorney, well, the the guy. I want to say it was the attorney that he was talking to. He by him not getting convicted for that last crime, it allowed him to be able to appeal the previous, which was this one. So he was right. ready and. Planning. You remember him talking? He was planning and ready. So after that, that was that that next day when that story came out. He did it the next day. This day he ready, planning. You right. know, let's get the appeal done. I guess my only thing is like no one had any really proof that he was gay or he was dibbling and dabbling. I think his motive from killing himself is it really was money, not really I the really gay stuff. I, re I think that what she said was the truth i think it was the truth and i think it messed with them like it really you know she went for the juggler she didn't mm. care what do you guys think so what do you think about this documentary do you think he killed himself because he's gay or did he kill himself because of the money why did he kill odin lloyd like what was the reason what was to the their moment? mom though for staying with it staying the horse and getting that that old law turned around where you could not, um, what was it where you couldn't, um, uh, oh my God, where the, uh, what's the thing called? Not what? the affidavit, the, uh, the word, the word where she, they had to go back and review the law and they put it back in, in force where his crime was not dismissed. Like, where he couldn't get the money? Right. They, I forgot the word they used, but they changed that law. That's how she ended up not being able to get it right. because they put that law. They said the law was too old. Nope, we putting it back. We changing it, and we're gonna mm -hmm. make it to where even though he did kill himself, um, you know, we're not just letting him off because he had an appeal in in, in session. So that was that was awesome. Make sure you guys subscribe if you sat through this whole 18, 19 minute video. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> Comment below. We'll be watching. Peace.